So, okay, we know saturated fat is uh, detrimental for cardiovascular health. What about unsaturated fat? Okay, so tell us where does one find unsaturated fat and what is the upper limit for how much saturated fat uh, do you recommend? Yeah, so I mean, examples of there, there's monounsaturated fat, which will, you know, which will be olives if you eat whole olives and olive oil. Um, there's not much omega-3 fatty acid in olives or olive oil. Uh, there is a little saturated fat. I think it's about 15% in olive oil. So you, if you're trying to reduce that saturated fat, now it's a plant-based saturated fat, just like avocado and coconuts have plant-based saturated fat. There's far less in olive oil than there is in coconut oil. So I stay way, way away from uh, coconut oil just because that enormous 92% saturated fat and even if you argue some of it's medium chain triglyceride, and maybe that's you know a fuel for your liver. You still got about half of it is saturated fat that isn't medium chain triglyceride. It's the longer chains that are associated with atherosclerosis. So when you get to unsaturated, there's monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Monounsaturated again, we usually think of olive oil. Polyunsaturated are the vegetable oils like canola, like sunflower, like uh, you know corn oil, soybean oil, and you know we nobody's a big fan in this country of corn oil, soybean oil. Uh, of course, soybean is completely, and cor corn oil, completely genetically modified unless it's labeled organic. But when you do look at, there are a few that you can say there may be some value to um, as a substitute for um, animal-based saturated fats. So canola oil, which again is another completely genetically modified crop, unless you buy an organic form of canola oil, the only kind I'd ever suggest anybody buy. There was a study in France in the 1990s called the Leon Heart Study. They took the typical French diet. Everybody believes there's no heart disease in France. It's a bunch of nonsense. There's actually a, a very high risk of heart disease in France. And it was shown in the Leon Heart Trial that if you took a typical French diet and you took half the group and told them instead of the high cheese and butter content of your diet, substitute more polyunsaturated fats. And they used canola oil in that study. They had to stop the Leon Heart Trial early. One of the few... Everybody had had a heart attack. The main factor was what's your risk of a second heart attack by altering your diet in terms of uh, predominantly the source of uh, fats in the diet, saturated versus polyunsaturated. And they had to stop the study early because there was over a 75% drop in recurrent heart attacks when you took the butter away and put in canola oil, uh, polyunsaturated fats. So that's, you know, if it's a spectrum and that's far better than eating butter, ghee, and cheese, uh, skin of a chicken, and uh, you know, and the yolk of an egg. Sounds like a witch's brew we're making in there. Uh, a perfect uh, storm for a heart attack. Now, is it better to move down the spectrum if you've had a previous heart attack and strive to have no added oil in your diets? Yeah, that's clearly better. So, I mean, I think there's the general population and then there's the group that I tend to see, those that have cardiovascular disease, some of which are very, very serious, previous bypass stents, um, you know, heart attacks, uh, you know, their spectrum should be, you know, vitamin E, vitamin Esselstyn. I mean, they really should stay away uh, from oils and oils impact on endothelial damage. But for those of us, I mean, that are talking and most of us listening that don't have known cardiovascular disease, erectile dysfunction uh, and such, it, it's probably okay to be, you know, modest in your, you know, in your oils. The American heart says 7% saturated fat and I think about 15% total calories. No, they say 25% total calories from fat. I, you know, I'd go lower than that. But and those fats that I get, I'd want to get solely from whole food, plant-based sources. I mean, nuts have been elevated. Nuts are a source of polyunsaturated fat. Now we're talking whole nuts. And consistently, and again, even this week, um, there has been some. We we still really haven't resolved the avocado issue, but nuts have you know, kind of fallen back into favor, even in the strictest cardiovascular plant-based diets. A big meta-analysis of over 800,000 people this week showed that eating about um, two dozen almonds a day, which is a handful, or 12 pecan halves, they tend to be bigger than almonds, so they're equivalent to a handful of nuts, uh, dropped a whole bunch of parameters, like infectious disease rates by 75%. Figure that out. Um, but, you know, sources of fiber, sources of nutrients, um, sources of healthier fats than Americans may be eating because you're, you know, you're going to eat something and that's always the equation. A cardiovascular disease dropped by about 20% with a handful of nuts a day, cancer by 15%. So um, if you're going to get your polyunsaturated fats, get them from a whole nut, like a walnut, an almond, a Brazil nut, um, some, a pecan. Uh, 